in bankswithschools.com. Welcome to Precore's 956i instructional video. This is a very uh, easy to use treadmill that you'll find in many locations. So I just want to give you a quick information on how to get started, especially if you're intimidated on this machine. No need to be intimidated. Uh, we have safety. You can clip this on. It's attached to the machine. That way, if something were to happen, if you were to fall off, the belt would stop moving. You wouldn't get any more injured. So if you're intimidated, if you're not sure about yourself, go ahead and make sure that you put that on before we even start. There's a quick start button, the easiest way to get started on here. You just want to hit the button. It'll tell you belt starting in three seconds. The belt will start to move. You can either start walking or you can stand off to the side. Once you've got your belt moving, you can up and down the speed. You have arrows to increase and decrease the incline. So you can walk up a hill, you can stay flat. Over here, it tells you the amount of time that's remaining. It counts down from one hour. So you can change that to see how long you've been on the machine. You can also look on this side. It tells you the distance that you've traveled. Hitting the button once, highlighted, it'll tell you the pace that you're working at. Hitting the button again, the average speed that you're um, running or walking to. To stop on this machine, big red button, you can't miss it, so it's easy to stop. Just hit that button once to stop the belt. Two more times, we'll clear it out. Now, if you want to get a little bit more involved, you can use the programs that are listed right up here. So we'll just pick one variety. There's a lot of different options to use. It goes through the terrain. It will be shown right up here. You can use your up and down arrows to change the terrain. Once you've found one that you want to do, hit the OK button. Again, the belt will start in three seconds. Just be aware that it will start moving. Once it's started, we also have the option, hitting options and entering weight and age. When you do this, you can get a little bit more of an accurate calorie count. Again, this is just an option. To enter that weight and age, hit OK first. And then you can use the up and down arrows to find your weight. Once you've found the appropriate weight, hit OK. It'll ask you for the age. It'll start out with an age, again, hitting up or down to find your age, hitting OK. It'll say that it's accepted that weight and age, and then it'll start to count your calories from there. Again, to hit the stop button, hitting it once to stop the belt. Two more times to clear it out. You can also use this pause and reset button. So if you just want to pause it, you drop something, you need to get a drink of water, go ahead and hit the pause button. It will pause just momentarily for a little while and then it'll start back up again. So there's all the different options that we have. Very simple to use. Thank you for watching this instructional video and hope that you try out the machines today.